Hello friends, welcome back to The Craft Castle. My name is Ashley and we are gonna be using our Xtool P2 for today's project. Before we get into all the design work and cutting and stuff like that, I wanna chat a little bit about the capabilities of the Xtool P2. Now, Xtool, the brand, has several models of laser cutters. And when I first introduced the laser cutter over on my other social medias, a few times I got this question of is, wait, I thought the X-Tools could not cut acrylic. And I can tell you right now, the X-Tool P2 can cut all acrylics. Unlike the other X-Tools, the X-Tool P2 model is a CO2 laser. And let's just not get into technicalities, but it being a CO2 laser means that it can cut all acrylic. Now the other X-Tool models like the F1, the D1, and the M1, even the S1, so there's four other models, they advertise it saying that it can cut some, which is essentially black, orange, blue, very limited on color. So if you ask me, and you're in, me and you are talking face to face, if you were to say to me, Ashley, I need a laser cutter and I really only want to work with acrylics. I would not suggest or tell you to buy any of those. What I would suggest you buying is the X-Tool P2 because it can cut all the acrylics, clear acrylics, mirror acrylics, glitter acrylics, any acrylics that you can possibly think of, it can cut those types of acrylics. The reason why the other four models cannot cut or can cut some acrylics is because it's a diode laser or some people diode diode depending on who you talk to that's how they pronounce it um it's because it's that laser again we're not going to go into the science of things because i don't really know what science is behind what all i know is is diode or diode lasers can cut some acrylics and the co2 lasers can cut all acrylics so today we're going to be cutting acrylic on our x tool p2 all right we're done with that Okay, we're done with that. We're gonna cut some acrylics and we're gonna be making acrylic drink sticks. First, I this file right here, I just downloaded off of Creative Fabrica, which is a website that I absolutely love because I clicked the download for an SVG, uploaded it into the Xtool Design Space and cut it. And within like five minutes, I had acrylic drink sticks. So I'm gonna show you what Creative Fabrica is and where you can find your SVG files. Not even just for this project, but they have an abundance of laser ready SVG files. It's definitely worth the $4 a month for their membership. And then once we get done doing that, I'm gonna design some New Year's Eve themed stir sticks all through Xtools creative space. Now outside of the question of wait, the Xtools can cut acrylic. The other thing that I always get is how easy is the design program? I'm gonna show you how easy it is. Designing in the Xtool creative space is one of the most easiest um, design studios. It looks very basic, but it's not. And it's actually fairly easy, very, very user friendly. All right, you ready? I know that I chit chat a lot. I am a talker. Once you get me talking, I can't stop, so. But are you ready to get started? Let's go. Okay, so the one thing that I like most about the Xtool Creative Space is that you can just do all your designs without ever having your, your laser cutter on. So I currently do not have my laser cutter on. The very first thing, like I promised, is we're gonna go over into Creative Fabrica. So what you wanna do is open up a new window in Safari, and we're just gonna go to creativefabrica.com. So Creative Fabrica has like millions of files, and if you don't go in with a purpose, you will be scrolling and downloading all day long. It is a rabbit hole of files and fonts and I mean, I have been sucked in. There has been weekends where all I've done is just scrolled through and downloaded. So what I always say, because it can get overwhelming, is go to Creative Fabrica with a purpose. So our purpose today is stir sticks. So I'm just going to put in stir sticks. And look at that. We got this one. This is actually the file right here, this Christmas drink stir stick SPGs. That's the one that I showed you. But do you see how we have this one, this one? We have some PNGs. We got some Halloween ones, Thanksgiving. See all of these? This is like all that is included with your Creative Fabrica membership. Okay, so let's just do, because I really like these ones, 
Let's just click on that and then we're going to press download. It already says I downloaded the file. It's fine. I'll download it again. Okay. Then what you want to do is going back over into the Xtool creative space. All we're going to do is find that downloaded file and then I am going to load in the hot cocoa stir stick SVG file. So we're just going to drag this and drop it into the Xtool creative space. And I'm telling you right now, that is it. Your design process is done. Uh, you could resize this if you wanted to, but outside of that, like we are moving and grooving. Okay, so let's just move these over to the side. The key portions of a stir stick that you're gonna need, if no matter what clip art that you end up using, is the square, the stick part, and then the circle. So let's go over here into insert and we're gonna insert a rectangle and we're gonna make it any size at this point. And then we'll go into insert and we'll click the circle and we're gonna make a circle. My circle looks funky monkey. So I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna unlock this and I'm just going to change these over to where it says like point 1.5, 1, 1.5. Okay, then I'm gonna lock this again. So now when I resize this, it's gonna resize proportionately. Since I already have the stir stick file uploaded and I like the size of these, when I had originally made these, I made these just like this, like I didn't resize them. And I like the width of, the, of my stir stick. So what I'm going to do is just taking this one right here, I'm gonna drag it over the top of that one, one stir stick that we had. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is come up here into the lock screen and I resize my rectangle to fit the rectangle that I like on that stir stick. It's gonna be hard to see, but the, that rectangle, it's still red. It's the same size as the one behind it that is that stocking stir stick. Okay, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this circle and doing the same thing I did with that rectangle. Outside of this time, I'm not going to uncheck my thing because I want it to be a full circle, like an actual circle, not an oval. And we're just going to make our circle as big as the circle that's on that stocking. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select that circle, shift on my keyboard and that rectangle, and let's just drag this over. Okay, I wanna make sure and align this to the center. Just making sure that everything is center. Okay, when I have that, I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna go to combined and then unite. Unite is weld. So if you're used to using like a Cricut or anything, uh, another design program, Unite equals weld. Okay, so now what you have here is you have the bottom portion of your stir, stir stick. So everything, see how we got the stocking and everything down here? This right here is the bottom of your stir stick. So if you wanted to, you could save this project as just like blank stir stick and so next time when you come here, like for Valentine's Day or for a wedding or whatever, you would just open up your project. This would open up and that is like the start of a stir stick. Okay, so it is going to be New Year's Eve soon. So let's do like 2024. What I'm gonna do is come up here into text. I'm gonna go over here into text box and I'm gonna put 2024. Okay, let's just drag this over here. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here into typeface and I'm going to choose a font that I like. The hardest part of any project is choosing the font. Okay, this right, this font right here, the, uh, I don't even know how to pronounce that. I like that font, it looks really cool. So I'm just going to make this bigger. Okay, now that we've chosen our font, one thing that I would like to note here is that you see how there's spacings in between all the numbers. If we were to cut this out on our laser cutter, all of those numbers are going to fall off. And so what you could do is you can come down here into spacing and we could do like minus one and you see how now they're coming close together. You could do that and now like this is going to be connected right here and those, those numbers, you could do that. However, I am not going to do that because I want to make these like a little funky monkey. What I'm going to do is now that I have that one, I'm gonna copy and paste. Okay, I'm gonna delete everything but that two. I'm gonna come over here and copy and paste again. I only want the zero this time. And this one, I only want the four. And we're going to copy and paste that too. 
Okay, now what I can do is I can just rearrange these up and down however I want. Okay, so I've arranged my numbers the way that I want them to look. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna select my numbers and I'm gonna come up here and take a bind and then unite. So all of those lines that were in between my numbers is gone now. Do we like the look of that? I think I like the look of that. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is just add this to my stick. When I have that done, before I go and weld this together, I am gonna take that stick and I'm gonna copy and paste because I wanna make a different stir stick. I'm gonna make two different stir sticks. Okay, so I like the look of that. I like the size. This size right here is 3.7 inches wide. These ones right here are three inches wide. If you wanted to, you could make them smaller. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select everything. So I'm gonna select that bottom portion of the stick and also my number. And I'm gonna come, here, come up here to combine and then unite. So this right here is our first New Year's Eve themed stir stick. Okay, for my next stir stick, I want it to be like a ball, like a disco ball or that big old ball that drops in Times Square. You know what I'm talking about? And that is like the key thing about New Year's Eve. So if they had it, we would go into shapes and the X tool has like all of these shapes. I'm not entirely sure if they have a disco ball, I mean, I guess we could look. They don't. Okay, they don't have a disco ball in the X tool creative space, but like if you were doing this for Halloween or any other, you know, I would just check here first. You would click over into shapes and they have like all these shapes, plants, animals, festival. When I click into festival, it looks like they have a whole lot of Halloween themed ones. They have a couple of Christmas ones. You could do Christmas if you wanted to. So you would insert it there. However, I, since I am looking for a ball in particular, I'm gonna go back over into Creative Fabrica. We're going there with a purpose. The purpose is a disco ball. Okay, so all these disco ball files are gonna pop up. There is a whole lot of them. Let me just change this over to disco ball SVG. Okay, this is a lot better. There's far less, oh, this is exactly what I'm looking for right here. A disco ball with really no edits. Oh, look at that cherry one, that's so cute. We're gonna do this one. We're just gonna select that and we're gonna press download. All the files that I used will be linked in the description of the video, so don't worry about the URLs and stuff, it will be linked. Okay, going back over into Creative Space, we are going to find our downloaded file. It is right here and we are going to drag in the SVG file. And let's just scale to fit our canvas. All right, this is it. We're gonna make this small because it became large. Making sure that this right here is locked. Okay, so right now, this right here is set to score and I want it to be an engraved file. Now, it because we set it to engrave, we're going to need a circle so it can get cut out. So what I'm going to do is insert a circle. We're just gonna make a circle. Okay, this circle right here is 1.615. I'm gonna make this circle the same as this circle. So this right here is 1.615. So I'm gonna come over here to this one, uncheck this, and I'm going to copy and paste that one measurement that I had. Now I'm gonna select this circle. We're gonna change it over to a cut, and I'm gonna select this circle, and we're going to align this horizontal and align this vertical. Okay, now I'm gonna drag this onto my stick. This looks kind of small, so I'm just going to, making sure that this right here is locked, just going to bump it up a little bit. Now, just to make sure it's all centered, I'm gonna select the bottom portion of that stick and also my disco ball and align it to the center and it's good. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move this over real quick. I'm gonna select my cut line for this and also my cut for this, selecting everything. I'm gonna come up here into combine and then unite. Now what I'm gonna do is take my engraving of my disco ball and I'm gonna drag it over into my stir stick. Before, this right here was just a stir stick with a circle on top. Now you add this on there and this right here is a disco ball stir stick. Okay, so the very next thing we need to do is choose our cut settings. I'm just gonna go over here into material and I'm gonna do the transparent acrylic. Okay, selecting all the lines that are red because those I all wanna be cut, we're gonna make sure that these are set to cut. 
and then going over here into this engraving, we want to make sure that this is engraved. Okay, now what you want to do is go turn on your X tool P2. With your X tool turned on, I do not have my slats in place. So you're going to want to add your slats back in. Okay, now that we have that in there, the colors that I'm going to be using for the New Year's Eve is going to be some mirror silver and mirror gold. Now, anytime you engrave on mirror acrylic, you always want to do it on the back side. I also like to cut in reverse. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay in this silver for right now. Both my sheets won't fit in there. So let's just do that silver. Okay, we're going to put the mirror side down. So the gray, the matte gray is going to be what's up. And then all you want to do is shut your X tool. Now let's go back over the computer. When I turned on my X tool, it automatically connected via Wi-Fi. So then what I'm going to do, because I'm only going to be using mirror silver for this, what I'm going to do is select everything that I'm not going to be cutting on mirror silver. And I'm going to drag this up outside of this screen right here. You want to make sure that nothing's inside of that. Okay, the very next thing you want to do is come over here and we are going to auto focus this. So we are going to take this little guy, click on it. And we are going to hover over the material that we want to cut. So I'm going to hover over the mirror silver. Okay, while that's going, I am just going to select both of these pieces. And I am going to just put this anywhere on my material. And let's do two. So copy and paste. And I'm going to do two disco balls. Okay, so the cool thing about the P2 is that there is a live camera in there. So we took a picture of what our bed looks like currently. And right here, I can see that these stir sticks are not going to cut into my other cutouts because I am using like a scrap piece of mirror silver. So my disco balls are not going to get cut out and get like a wonky cut. You want to make sure that your cutouts are not touching each other. It looks good. Okay, remember, let's go back in. I've already checked this before, just double checking again. We want to make sure that our disco ball itself is set to engrave and then the actual stick is set to cut. When we have that done, we just wanna press process. Then what we wanna do is press start and head back over to the X tool to press that button. Okay, so we are at the X tool. You're gonna to wanna to press that button over on the right. this out okay these are what the mirror silver acrylics look like when they are done now mirror silver acrylic is matte silver on the back that's what gives it the mirror but look at that front looks absolutely amazing and these cuts are so good okay so now let me show you how we are going to cut that 2024 out. So let me put this in here, just like this, same thing we did before. Now let's shut this, and we're gonna go back to the computer and set up our 2024 cutout. Okay, so I do wanna note that during the time of the cutting and engraving of the disco ball, at some point in time, my internet must have kicked off because this it said that the device was disconnected. But even though my device was disconnected, we still had a good finished cut over on the X tool. So the X tool still remembers like what it's supposed to be doing. Okay, now all we're gonna do is press continue. Okay, now that I've connected back to my Wi-Fi, I now have that piece of mirror acrylic that is shown on there. Let me zoom out. Okay, we don't need the disco balls anymore, so I'm going to drag this away, and let's take down our 2024. In order to cut on the mirror acrylic, I've already told you this before, is that I always like to cut this with the mirror side facing down. It just gives it the cleanest cuts. However, if we were to go and cut this now, what would happen is, is the pretty side, that mirror gold side, that would be in reverse. So what we wanna do is take our 2024, we're gonna come up here and reflect, and we're gonna reflect this horizontally, or we're gonna mirror it. So now what is gonna be the prettiness that mirror gold is going to be legible to us. 
Okay, doing the same thing we did before. I'm gonna come down here, clicking out of everything, and I'm gonna do this auto focus button and just we're gonna focus onto our acrylic. And I'm gonna make two of these. So I'm gonna take one, arrange it on there and copy and paste. And I'm just going to turn this upside down. Okay, and then when I cut my mirror silver acrylic, it was kind of hard to push my acrylic out. Like it didn't just fall right out. So what I'm going to do is selecting my cutout, I am going to take the speed and I'm going to bump it down a little bit to let's say 18. When we have that done, it's set to cut. Now all we want to do is press process and then press start. Now we head back over to the P2 and press that button. All right, let's press that button. Okay, so in total, this took two minutes and 14 seconds to do two of them. Okay, so this time, you can see how, how some of my pieces are falling right out. That's exactly what I wanted. So just adjusting the speed to a lower speed definitely help with the cuts. Now you definitely don't want it to go too slow because acrylic is actually very flammable. So you wanna make sure and monitor your laser when it's cutting the acrylic, but I think the 18 was perfect. Look how easy it is to come out. All right, now we're gonna flip this over. All of my mirror acrylic has this like, uh-oh, poo. Mine broke right here, but I just broke that one by myself. Okay. Well, all of my mirror acrylic has this like plastic sheeting over it. So you just want to peel that off. Now I'm going to be even more gentle with this one and I am not going to, we're going to go this way. Okay, that's a lot better. I definitely did a lot better job not manhandling that. Okay, so we have one, we did have two. However, I broke that. This right here is a very thin line. So if you use that same font, just know that these are very fragile. And then here is the disco ball. And these are both cut on mirror acrylic. Look at that. And they look absolutely gorgeous. Look at how great those cuts are. And there's not like any bad cuts on here at all. These look so good. All right, y'all, I sure hope I inspired you to create and happy new year's.